Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I am Penge and welcome to Airheart, a very pretty and gorgeous looking diesel punk airplane action roguelike apparently, according to the Steam Store page, which sounds fascinating. So we live on that floating island just there, that's called Granaria, and we're going to play Amelia, who's a mechanic who earns money from sky fishing, because in this particular world, the fish live in the sky, which just sounds fantastic. So we have a little plane, and we're going to go out, we fly about, we catch fish, but then there is the uh, ever-present threat of pirates, and we have to dodge the pirates or fight the pirates if we so wish. Go and kill ourselves some pirates, get loads of scrap, there's crafting, there's uh, purchasing stuff, there's upgrading your plane, and it makes it better and quicker and faster, and all that kind of stuff that you might expect. And um, yeah, I think we're just going to uh, we're just going to uh, dive straight in. <laughs> just before we start, though, I like the way it's called Tales of Broken Wings. It's almost as though they knew I was going to play this game, because I probably will crash our ship. And I've not got this far into it, but... But... I've read on the Steam forums, I think, I think it's permadeath. So I think you could get to level, I don't know how many levels there are, I don't know, level 5,000. And then if you crash, if you crash and burn, that's it. You're back at the start. You are back at the start on the tutorial level with everybody else that's only just started playing. No matter how good you once were, that does not matter at all. So uh, yeah, this could be fun. So yeah, Tales of Broken Wings. There might also be Tales of Broken uh, broken Controllers and Broken Screens as well, if you get that far, and then Crash and Burn. So uh, yeah, I got a key for this from the developers, so thank you very much to those guys. I think let's just get on with it and dive into the skies of Flying Fish. And there we go, that's us, that's Amelia. So she's at work in a workshop. I like the fact the workshop in the background has paperwork in it. I like the way there's a cabinet and it's got like folders and sort of filing, little sort of paper filing storage things. I quite like that. You've got all the exciting stuff over one side, like blueprints and gas canisters and exciting stuff. And then you've got like a little boring bit, but you know what, if you're running your own business, you go do your paperwork and there it is. So uh, yes, there is us, we're sitting here in our workshop. So this isn't where the main stuff happens. We obviously go out flying. So we have ourselves our little plane down in the basement beneath us and look how cool it looks it looks very very lovely so uh, yeah you can adjust the chassis you can adjust the engine you can adjust the wings you can have a first weapon which we have we have a bolt cannon which is a thing strapped onto the back and then we can have a second weapon but we haven't got one however i have done the tutorial of this and i've had a little fly about just on the sort of the first level if you like the sort of first bit you get to and i have been able I've been able to get some monies in order for us to actually go and buy something from the shop. Because I thought, do you know what, I don't want to go into it green and then I won't know what I'm doing and I'll keep crashing and stuff and then burning. So well, there has been some crashing, there's been some near misses, there's been a couple of near misses where I nearly didn't make it back. But um, yeah, so let's go to the shop. Let's go to the shop. So we can have a look. So you can get yourself basic weaponry. You can get yourself a different plane. You can get yourself an even shinier plane. Or you can get yourself extra bits of planes. So you, you can get all different bits of planes. You can sort of bolt them together. Obviously, this stuff is ludicrously expensive. This stuff is ridiculously expensive. So we don't have any of these things. We don't even have a Pinty Woodpecker. We don't even have one of those. So we're going to have to just go back to here. Basic weaponry. So in the top right, we have 548 Sky Dollars. So we could get ourselves, we get ourselves a machine gun, which sounds a bit cool. That's good. But we could also get ourselves a assault gun. So the assault gun does more damage, but it has less of a fire rate. I think I might take for now, given that my aim is fairly poor, and you have to aim whilst flying around as well, which is quite hard to do. So you're flying in one direction, aiming around the side of the ship using a, using the uh, sort of right, because I'm using a steam control, the right sort of round pad thing. You have to aim as well, so fire rate might be better, because I'm more likely to at least hit something <laughs> just out of pure luck. So let's buy ourselves one of those. Yes, machine gun bought successfully. So now I believe we should be able to go to the hangar and fit. Ah, there we go, look. So we can fit that as our first weapon. So we can either have the bolt cannon for damage 2 and fire rate 1, or the machine gun for damage 1 but fire rate 4. Yeah, let's go for that. Let's absolutely go for that. And then we want to save up and get ourselves some different bits of plane. That could be fun. So here we go. Before we uh, look at the crafting and stuff, I don't think we've got much to craft particularly. Let's just launch to the skies. So I think when we come back, we repair ourselves. So at the top, you can see uh, 20 and a heart. That's our ship sort of airplane hit point thingamajigs. That's how much we can stay alive. And uh, then the thing on the uh, top there with a naught by it is kind of how many fish we've caught. Although I don't know why it's a drop. I don't know why it's a sort of drop type thing. Ow! 
and one of our competitors just crashed into us. So those guys flying around are not, the other ships, are not pirates. They're other fisher people out to catch the fish. And as you can see, I am trying to catch the little fish. Oh, now you can fly through some trees and it does hold stuff for you. So there we go. Flew through a golden tree and it gave me a little sort of a uh, heal up thing, which was actually quite nice. Uh, right, these guys, I found out of the police. I didn't know that. I crashed into them and they came after me last time. Hopefully they've forgiven me. The guy came round, he told me off, it's all fine. So yeah, the little fish, you just fly after them and you catch them and that's it. However, there are other things as you can see. There's like jellyfish. We don't want to fly into the jellyfish because the jellyfish are bad. They hurt us. They're evil jellyfish. And we all know that jellyfish are a bit evil because they're just a bit weird. Why would you be a jellyfish? Ah, right. Something's come out of there. So that's scrap. So we can pick up scrap and stuff as well. And we use scrap in the crafting bit. Now, I've not done really much to do with the crafting. So uh, we'll have to see how we get on with the crafting when we come to it. But yeah, look, it's quite nice. Whoa, weird squid things. Loads of squid things. Right, let's try and come around this way and get a fish. And then come through this way and get ourselves you. And then we'll go up to the next level. We'll go up to the next sky lane or whatever it's called. So let's have a look. So we can go through here. You can go in. There we go. Look, sky layer. That's it. Sky layer. So it takes us up. Now this one, alas, has baddies in it. This one will have bad guys. There was a different fish. Now as you can see, there's different fish as well. There are different fish. Uh, the ones with red are ones we wish to uh, fire at. Now the only thing is that I've found is that the steam controller is not at its best when you're trying to aim this thing. As you can see, it's all a bit all over the place. And I am taking some damage as well because it's, it's, it's quite difficult to fly around... <laughs> And then aim as well. It's try, yeah, difficult to try and keep hold of where you actually are. Oh, no, that fires very quickly. That's very good. So if we could just try and get on the underside of this guy and then just fire at him. Oh, look at that. You can just keep going. Yes, okay, good. That's good. So if we can come up alongside them. Yeah, we don't want to shoot the guys in green, though. The guys in green are our buddies. We like those. Oh, they're the cops. Don't shoot the police. Do not shoot the police. <laughs> That's generally bad. Right, there's lots of stuff going on. What I might do is... I might avoid this in its entirety. Can we go through a tree and get something nice? No. What about this tree? Go through there? No. Um, let's go up to the next sky layer. Because, oh, oh, there's a nice fish. There's a nice fish. Oh, you scoundrel. You scallywag. You stole that from me. Uh, we've got to wait for this thing. We've got to wait for it because uh, somebody's using it. There we go. We can go in now, I believe. There we go. Let's go up to sky layer three. In the Cherry Blossom Yards Level 3, where there's going to be even more fish, but probably even more bad guys. So, yeah. Oh, there's a giant bad guy. There is an enormous bad guy. Oh, he's got, like, rockets or something exciting going on. He's got, like... Oh, 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 right. Shoot the rocket. Shoot the rocket. Shoot the rocket. Shoot the rockets. Also shoot him. Oh, he has a shield. He has a shield. Now, you can pull the shields off, I believe. I can't remember how you do it. You use a harpoon, I think. But, again, I have to aim that, and that's quite hard. <laughs> that's very difficult. Okay, we're on eight hit points. Only eight hit points. That's not very good. However, we have just blown up a pirate. Hooray! Right, okay. Aim that way. Shoot you. See if we can kill you. No, took a bit of... Oh, hang on. There's a, there's a healing thing there. We'll certainly take that. Oh, it's it's just flown off the side of the screen. No, it's mine. It's mine. Yes. More health. Uh, oh, no. That's Is that a trap? Right. My ship is going to explode. However, let's catch some fish first. Let's get that. Get that. Right, okay. So now we can go back down. We can simply go straight back down, but it, it basically plummets us. It goes, right, okay, you're going back down. Yeah, all right. Dodge all the stuff, would you? So you have to dodge all the different bits and bobs that are around between you and the ground. There we go. And we are home. So we'll heal up automatically. That's nice. So we've got ourselves 13 pipe fish at seven, uh, seven monies. I assume it's monies. I assume what it says at the bottom, total fish, little kind of teardrop, water drop thing, and then total earnings. 235. They're both 235. So I assume whatever I earn in fish also then goes over to earnings. So we've got 13 pipe fish at 7 apiece, 9 flying parrots at 16 apiece, which gives us some money, and we found a little bit of scrap as well. Okay, cool. Right, so if we go to there, uh, what money does that give us now? 534. So not really enough to get anything exciting. Really, we want to get something like that. We want to get something a bit better, like something there that can use... That gives us uh, three bars of hit points. Because I bet our hit points are just one bar at the minute, aren't they? I bet they're a little bit naff. Hit points, yeah, one bar. We could do with some more of that. Particularly because I can't aim. I can't aim. And I think it is a thing with the Steam Controller. I don't think maybe the Steam Controller works properly with this yet. I would expect, if I pressed on the top right of the Steam Controller, I would expect the uh, aiming reticule to be on the top right. But it kind of just seems to have a life of its own. So here we go. Let's go to the workbench. I've not really done much with the workbench. So what have we got? 
basic scraps. We've got ideas, uh, which I think is uh, there. Ah, right, okay, inventions. So I don't really know what I'm doing with this. What's that? That's a machine gun. Okay. I didn't invent the machine gun. I purchased it. Uh, okay, fine. Well, we'll come out of that then. Okay, let's go back to ideas. I don't really know what that is. So it looks like... Can we mix something together? So we've got scrap metal. And we've got scrap metal. Uh, okay, hang on. What if we just mixed up five lots of scrap metal? Does that make a thing? So if we then craft that... If we go craft and it failed. Okay, great. It failed. But something at the bottom is ticking up. Something at the bottom is happening. Uh, okay, what's that at the bottom doing? I don't fully understand what that's doing. Well, that's gunpowder. Oh, that's quite useful. What if we did... Ah, now hang on. Hang on, hang on. The thing at the bottom has got three complete dots. Um, can we Can we build that? I don't, I don't really know what I'm doing with that. Basic scrap is what we've got. Okay, what if we did three... Uh, hang on, get rid of that, get rid of that. What if we mixed three scrap metals... Because that first thing in the in the sort of the white pale bar at the bottom seems to have three circles at the top. I'm going to assume. Here we go. Let's just. Oh no no no! Not that. Craft that. Does that make something? Yes. A metal box. Oh, what can I do with the metal box? Who knows what wonders I could make with the metal box? Okay, so I can make metal boxes. Now, what if I mix a piece of scrap and two gunpowders? I think that was that ammo thing just there. The second thing in. So I think if we do that, what does that do? Small ammo. Now, do I take small ammo with me? Or, or what's the what's the deal with that? I don't really know. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. Um, okay, do I just make another... Can I make another small box? All right, a metal box. Is that different to a small box? Okay. Hang on, hang on. Now go up here. Metal works. Ah! Oh, look, I can make different things. So now, can I... Add small ammo. Oh, I see. Now I need to add certain bits of these to make more things. Oh, I have no idea what I'm doing. So I've made one unit of small ammo. So I could, in theory, mix that with a metal box. So I could go, all right, mix that with a metal box. Uh, it costs 16. Should we just see if that does anything? No, it doesn't at the bottom, though, look. There's nothing at the bottom that it's going to do anything with. Because I think they all require three ingredients, at least. Those two boxes at the bottom have got... Three round circles and four round circles above them. Round circles. Why am I specifying the circle is round? I don't know. So, um, yeah, I don't think we'll be able to do anything with that. Yeah, that's, so this could do with a bit of work. It doesn't really doesn't really help you much with explaining how this works. I'm not entirely sure what I am doing particularly. Am I just making these things at the bottom? So I think I need more gunpowder. I think I need more gunpowder to make that next thing. To make the next thing along. Go to basic scrap. I've only got two gunpowder. So never mind. Right. Let's go back out and give that another go. So let's go to the hangar. We've got all our weapons. Yeah, we need to upgrade the wings or the engine or the chassis or something. We need to upgrade something to get something a bit exciting and shiny. So let's go back out into Skylair 1. There might be, won't be much here, I don't think. I think we've mostly dealt with that. Some of the fish do respawn, I think, he says, as there's absolutely loads of fish around. I think some of them do respawn, but not all of them. No, you, you. Oh, and you've crashed into me. Brilliant. Good job. Good job, orange driving, sort of flying, playing guy. Uh, no, don't want any of those. Right, is there an orange tree? Is there a nice tree that we can drive through? Oh, that's a nice tree to drive through. Oh, and a thing. We'll pick up a thing. Yay, we got ourselves a thing. Um, let's try and get you. Come here, fish. Sky fish. No, you pesky sky fish. Right, cut inside. Cut inside. Cut inside. And boom. Oh, no. Oh, no. We crashed into some things. I think we avoided the jellyfish. I think we avoided them. Uh, okay. Nothing much. Oh, I'll we'll have that. You. You scoundrel, sir. That's it. Oh, right. Glowing tree. Glowing tree is always good. Something will come out of the glowing tree. Ah, that's quite handy. I'll take that. That'll top my health back up. Before we go up into Sky Lair 2. So we go up into the second one. Cherry Blossom Yard 2. We go up here. And immediately I want to go over to 3. I don't even want to bother sort of sticking about here. I'm just going to go straight through. Straight through. Uh, and try and, and fire. Now see look, look, look. I, this is what I mean about where I'm firing. I'm sort of tapping around in a circle. And it's not really. It sort of flicks about. Unless it's. Where I'm pointing as well. I'm not entirely sure. But anyway, right. Let's go up to the third sky layer. Where we got before. Let's pop up here. There's got to be some night. Oh, yes. Look at that. Those things are 
very profitable indeed. We'll have lots of... Oh, there's, there's so much stuff going on. <laughs> we Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Dodge those terrifying rockets, however. They're probably not good. Dodge the rockets. Shoot the rockets. Dodge the thing. Right, do not... Oh, no, that person's going to get that scrap that I just found. Right, you're annoying. Kill you. Yeah, bit of damage on you. Absolutely. Where's that guy gone? You, Sonny. Come here. You, no, not you. Not you. Sorry, I didn't mean to shoot you. I meant to shoot the pirate guy. Stop crashing into me, normal friendly fishing people. Yeah, let's kill him. Let's try and kill him. We've got a bit of a mission and kill him. Yeah, yes. Is he out of the sky? He is. He's crashed and he's burned and now I am running away. Have I annoyed? Oh, I've annoyed the cops. Oh, 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 right. I am going to, I think I'm going to die. I think, right, land. Land, 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 land. Yeah, just get out of here. Get out of Dodge. <laughs> we'll come back to there in a second. So we got some stuff. Uh, okay. Oh my goodness, Dodge. I think I tried to crash on Granaria. Like that. You crashed on Granaria. Yay. I salvaged some cargo. Okay, so I clipped something on the way down, did I? So I lost three scrap and I lost some fish. But I still got 154. <laughs> Don't know how that worked. I salvaged some cargo. Okay, continue. Now what happens? So is my plane all in bits? Oh, okay, right, so I've lost my weapon. I've lost my fast shooting weapon and I'm back <laughs> back to whatever bilge weapon I had before. But I've got 660 monies now. I might save that. Let's just... Here's an idea. Let's go to the hangar. Let's launch. Just go straight out. Absolutely. Just fly straight out. And I think we try and avoid all contact with the bad guys. We avoid all the baddies. And we just go straight for the uh, straight for the fish, and then just get out of there. Oh, it's quite peaceful and scenic. This little bit, it's lovely. Right, let's go up to the uh, second skylight. Now, is it getting night timey? Everything looks a little bit greyed out. Oh no, there we go. It looks far nicer here. Oh, there's lots of stuff here though. Lots of lovely fish. We'll have you. We'll go through there. Try and get those fish. Oh, burst some jellyfish things open there. Right, let's go this way. Cut through here. Cut through the tree. Try and get one of those little tiny fish. Thank you. Right, go up into there. So we've only lost one point of health thus far. Right, let's head over to the right. Was Were they good things on the right? Was that good? good catch? Yes, a very good catch. Oh, there's a box there. There's a little secret box hiding around on that on a ledge. <gasps> secret boxes on ledges are a new thing. I didn't know that was a thing. Okay, what can we catch? There's a health box thing. That might be quite useful. Oh no, that was the trick one that got me before. Damn you, trick health box. Let's go to the middle here, look. That looks like some nice things in the middle. Cut through there. There is a health... Uh, no, that was just a box. That was just a regular box. Let's dodge out of the way of this. Oh my goodness, there's so many sort of turrets and things around. Get some fish, get some fish. Lovely, lots of... Oh, up there, up there, up there. Big fish, big fish. Get those. Anything else going on? Anything else happening? Now, this here is X to interact. I can't interact with them in any way. I don't know what it's supposed to do. I really don't know what it's supposed to do. Does it spend money? Why can't I just get... I'm just getting money from being next to them. I don't really understand what I'm doing. I've got 760 monies now. And they appear to be shooting at me. Which I don't fully understand, but okay. <laughs> Did I just sell them all my stuff? I don't know. There's a box there. I'm going to go and get that box. Audacious flying move. Oh, yes, it was an audacious flying move. I don't know what I just got. But, um, yeah, it was an audacious fly move nonetheless. Right, where's the thing to go up to the next sky lair? How do I go up? How does one go up? Uh, it's certainly not down there because it's not letting me go any further that way. Let's have a look over here. Anything over here? Oh, it's very, it's very lovely. I like the mechanics of it moving around. That's lovely. Uh, yeah, okay. Oh, 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 possibly want to, possibly want to shoot those rocket things. Oh, no, they've gone. Shoot the rockets, shoot the rockets, shoot the rockets. Good, thank you. Let's shoot up there. Shoot the bad guys. Shoot the baddies. Shoot the shoot the things. Shoot him, sir. Shoot him. Shoot him. Get get that. Oh. <laughs> Ouch. Ouchie ouchies. Yeah, okay. We need to get ourselves better at shooting. That's what we need. We need to be better at shooting. Certainly better at shooting. But also we need to get ourselves. We need to kill those guys. Can we kill those guys up at the top there? Oh, that's the cops. Cops, do not shoot at me. I'm a goodie. I'm a good guy. Oh, there's something there that I really want. There's a battery or something like that. Oh, did we get that? I've no idea. I don't know. Now, I don't know what to do now because this takes us up. 
That took us up, but now there appears to be no other sky lane access thing to, to where we need to go. Uh, yeah, I don't really know quite what to do next. Let's just have a fly about. Let's have a little fly around. Let's see if we can't die from this guy. Ow. 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 I'm being shot at a lot. That was painful. Right, there's a fish. Actually, go and get a fish, given that's what we're here to do. Go fishing. Oh, 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 oh. Now, that would be very useful. We're going to have to get the healing thing. Yes, beautiful. Uh, yeah, there's there's not a lot to do here. It's not like we can go up another lane, I don't think. I don't think we can. Let's try and get that nice fish. Then should we go back and land? Just go and land again, possibly? I'm not entirely sure what the plan now is. Let's drive through there. Oh, yeah, I need to land. I need to land. I need to land. Land, 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 land. Save my aeroplane before I crash. Let's go back down once more. Now, we should have a relatively easy journey to it this time. I think that's it. There we go. We've safely returned home with only a meagre 109. Ah, because I think we sold some to the ship that was already in the sky. I think that is what happened. So our money went up and our total fish quota sort of thing at the top in the middle that when we were on the flying about screen went down. And we also found some oil barrels, which is very intriguing. What do we do with those? Okay, I'm not entirely sure what we do with the oil barrels. I think, I think we just sell them. I think we just sold them and that was it. But now we've got 869 monies. 869 lovely, lovely monies that we could use to upgrade our ship. So we could get ourselves either. I'm, I'm so tempted to get the main hull upgrade just to get the um, to get the boost in hit points. But then if I am going to do it, I'd rather go out and fly about a bit more and get one of those because that gives us that gives us a fish radar. That's fine, but the fish is just sort of everywhere. I'd rather have an enemy radar so I can ignore, <laughs> go round the enemies. Because the aiming thing isn't particularly great. It's very hard to shoot at things. So it'd be easy to avoid them. So I think that'd be very, very cool. But then this thing here, look. This thing here, if you save up for that and put on those wings. I think it's those wings. Uh, is it there? Yeah, they, yeah, they must be the wings, yeah. That, there, you get yourselves two weapons. So you can have double your weapons, which is very cool. So right now... I'm tempted to go out and fly around a bit more. Just get ourselves, what, $121. However we can do that, I don't know. Go and get $121 and then order this thing. Order the Duntalon sort of main body thingamabob. What do they call it? The plain uh, main tube. The tube bit. <laughs> the main tube bit where you sit. You know, the plain tube. I don't, what's it called? Well, hang on. What What is it called? Chassis. That's it. That's the word I was thinking of. Chassis, tube, same sort of thing. So, uh, right, let's go for another flyabout. I'll get some stuff. We'll come back and hopefully I won't be dead. And, uh, yeah, we'll upgrade our our ship to that particular thing. That nicer, that nice ship tube that we just looked at. There we go. Now, via the power of editing, you'll just think that I just did one trip. No, no, I just did three. <laughs> I just did three separate flights out to get that money because... Because it was quite tough out there. So instead of going up to the, the Pinty Woodpecker class, which will give us two lots of hit points and then Fish Radar, why don't we then go for this one here? So the Talon, the Talon chassis of the Dun Talon. So we'll have that and uh, it'll give, because 990, but it gives us the ability of enemy radar as well. So we've bought that, which is nice. Now we need to go out to the hangar and we can change it over. So this should look cool. Oh, I like that. I like the choppy changiness of it all. So yeah, we can chop and change that to give us a slightly better chassis as it, a, 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 a plane tube. Slightly better plane tube. So it's got more hit points, which is absolutely perfect. So we can stay out for longer. And then, um, yeah, we can start getting more money. We can upgrading our other things. And I found out how to get up. I found out how to get up onto the Sky Lair 4 as well. So let's go and do that, shall we? Let's just go straight up. Launch back out in our new shiny plane. Oh, it looks very cool. I like that. And this game does look gorgeous. It looks tremendous. It looks really good. The only thing that I'm a bit sad about is the aiming thing. The aiming thing is not quite right. And it might just be because of a Steam controller. Maybe the Steam controllers aren't quite configured or whatever. I don't know. But um, whatever the case. Oh, look at that. We've got double the hit points. Oh, it's lovely. Already I've got twice as much capability to get shot at due to poor flying and inefficient firepower. Yay! So, uh, yeah, let's just go straight. Oh, we can't go up. Someone else is in the sky lift thing of a bomb. Ah! Come on, people. Fly around quicker. Yeah, but oh, they're taking an awfully long time. Can you go up, please? Thank you very much. So we'll go up. So this is where we got to before. 
I just thought it was here and I thought we had to do something. But no, we can go up a further level once we catch that nice fish that I just saw. Hello, fish. Thank you. So let's cut through the middle. Let's just cut straight through the middle. If we see any fish, fine. We'll go grab a fish. It'd be nice if people didn't fly into us. Uh, also, I think, I think hitting the squid things slows you down. I think it doesn't damage you. I just think it slows you down. Right, look, there we go. So now we can go up to level four. So Cherry Blossom Yard 4 with its full fish population. However, my little radar thing at the bottom is now telling me where the, the, um, the pirates are. There's quite a lot of pirates on this level, it seems. There's an awful lot of bad guys going on. And my aim is terrible, so I'm not going to be able to hit any of them. Oh, he's got some sort of electric -y, jabbery thingy. I don't want that in near me. Go away, electric jabbing thick. We'll have all those fish, though. That's quite nice. Bop, bop. Are there any good guys on this level? Is there anyone on my... Oh, there is. There is. There's, there's one person. Goodness me. Goodness me. Oh, I'll take that. Thank you very much. Ow. Ouch. That probably hurt quite a lot. That was a bit painful. One thing I think that they could do with is, is um, fading out the background levels a lot. Fading out the lower levels. Or doing that kind of thing. Having like a sort of a, a mist or something to make sure that we know quite what we're looking at. Because they all seem to be sort of blending into one, if I'm honest. Right, okay, let's avoid that. That's a, This is a bad thing. What is that? Oh, that's got, a sh that's got a thing on it. Yeah, that's got one of these. We need to fire our harpoon thing at that. And we can pull the um, we can pull those shields off. Look, if we fly away and do that, like it's quite hard to do. But we can break that. Uh, yeah, let's try and point it. Given that we can't aim at it. Oh my goodness me, that is kicking out some serious firepower. Right, don't fire at me, policeman. I'm trying to maintain... Hang on, I'm being... Police, can you... I'd like to report some terrible crimes happening, please. Oh, yes, look at all that. That thing is absolutely spewing out bullets. Oh, my goodness me. Okay, also, all of the um, all the pirate ships are far faster than me. Can I have a better ship, please? Okay, now I've got 436 monies. And I can't aim. Yeah, the aiming thing is a bit... It's, a, it's not good, because it genuinely does not help. Because I can't fire at anything. <laughs> And shooting at things, I get the I get the thing. That's an integral part of this game, shooting at stuff. So uh, yeah, let's do that. Ow, so I'm half. And then now, in my old ship, I'll be dead. I will be long dead in my old ship. But no, not in my shiny new ship. No, no, no. I'm all fine in the new ship. Come on, come on. Target him. Target him. Get him. No, not him. He's he's one of our friends probably. Now I wonder if they respawn. I wonder if the pirates respawn. Or if they'd never come back. I wonder if we clear them out of this level. I wonder if that's it and they've gone forever. I don't know. Police, stop shooting at me, police. I am a good guy. I'm just a humble fisher person. Going about my fishy, humble business. <laughs> Leave me alone and stop shooting at me. Right, where is the thing to go upstairs? Up to the next sky lane or whatever it is. Can I do that? Oh, yes. Can I get one of those bits? Can I pull one of those things off? Uh, yes, I can. Take that. Ow, and that's shooting at me quite a lot. Take one of those. Oh, no, 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 no. Take that. No, no. Fire upwards. There. Right, pull that. I should possibly... I should possibly go back to... Uh, I should go back to base, I think. Before I get killed. Oh, that could be useful. Oh, I just missed a little Healy thing. Just missed a Healy thing. How do I let go of the... I'm carrying a big piece of metal junk around. <laughs> I don't want the metal junk, thanks. How do I jettison the metal junk? Do I press a button or something? I don't... Go away, metal junk. Unrequired metal junk. Can we just shoot? Uh, yeah, I'm, uh, okay, it's stuck. It's stuck to me. I mean, that's... I mean, it, I was going to say it's fine. It's not really fine. I want to use my harpoon thing for something else. Uh, I know, that's fine now. Look, we can just pull that like that. That's good. <gasps> There's a special fish. There's a special fish. Go get the fish. Go get the fish. Come on, fish face. Come here. Come to me. No, no, fish face. Stop it. Come here, you tricky thing. Right, I'm going to cut you off. Ah, oh, so close, fish. Yeah, I got you. Ha, 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 ha. Who is the king of fish? Probably not me. Right, get that. Pull that thing off there. Beautiful. Um, Yeah, do I want to wuss out and go back to our base? I might do, you know. I might do that. Let's do that. Oh, yeah, let, let's absolutely not die. There we go. Uh, now, the only thing is, I now have to try and land. So, here we go. Let's try and not hit anything. Whoa, it's quite difficult to control. <laughs> it's quite difficult. It's quite quick. Let's go through here. And we are down. I think as well, the uh, the greyness when you go into level is dependent on how much fish there is on that particular level. So I think the greyer the level, the, uh, the fewer fish there are. But okay, 526 of your monies. That's quite a nice amount. 
Okay, I wasn't happy with the amount of money we had, so I just nipped out again, went up to the fourth sky layer and did some more stuff. So yeah, we got quite a nice haul of fish there. And, and we've got another type of scrap. So across the top, there's a kind of nuts and bolts looking type thing as well. So I don't know what that is. So let's go and have a look at that. What's that now? So basic scrap, what's that? Machinery. Okay, how intriguing. Now we haven't found any other stuff really. We've not got much in the way of gunpowder or scrap metal. But we now have machinery. So what can we do with machinery? Again, I don't really know what to do with this kind of stuff. I don't really know how this kind of works. Let's not do that right now. Let's go to the shop. Let's go to the shop. Because now we've got ourselves 1,265, which is very exciting. So we could get ourselves either this here, which is an engine, for uh, some extra speed. Or that for some extra agility. Now what's our current agility? That would be handy to know, wouldn't it? Uh, current agility is 3 and speed is 2. So agility 3 and speed 2. So if we go to the shop, we could then get ourselves... We can only get one of these and I want to buy a weapon. So we could up our speed. I think our speed, I think agility, we're okay. So speed is good and it gives us the ability of overdrive. I mean, I don't know what that is. It sounds exciting and fun. So we could go for that. Go for overdrive. So let's order that. Yeah, why not? Eh? Why not? Let's go mad. And then we've got... 475. Ah, we could get ourselves a machine gun like we did before. The assault gun is... I mean, that's not as good though, is it? The damage is not as good. The damage is... Uh, no, I mean the damage is not as good. The fire rate is not as good. But that is quite nice. And it's only 499. It's 499. That's really annoying because we're only just shy of that. We're only just shy. I would quite like to upgrade our weapon. Dual Harpoon sounds quite exciting as well. And then you get into really cool sort of sounding things. 599 for a Sky Sweeper, which has got lots of damage. That there, a Chaos Rocket, 869. And then you get into crazy weapons here. Gatling Guns, no damage but massive rate of fire. A Mine Launcher, and then a Flamethrower, just for fun. <laughs> Not much damage, but lots of fire rate because it's just a jet of fire. Um, Okay, well let's keep that for now then. Right, let's go to the hangar. Let's equip ourselves with the different engines. Yeah, so that's the old engine. That's the new engine. So it just changes the blades at the end, but they look bigger. The blades look bigger. The big blades look whirlier. So that's good. So we should go faster. So if we launch, let's have a quick go at this. So let's fly out and let's go up to the, whatever it was, fourth or fifth Skylet. So there's not much fish left on these at the minute. There's not much left. Oh, we are decidedly quicker. Look at that. Yes, we are much quicker. And yeah, the lack of fish does seem to dictate the colour palette. So this is a bit more vibrant, I think. There might be some more fish around, which is lovely. Um, I'm going to try and avoid combat if I can, just because I can't get to work. Although I suppose I could. Oh, that was nice. That was a surprise. Oh, yes, we'll take all of those. Yep, take all those things. Thank you very much. Um, do you know what? Can we fire? Oh, we'll have you as well. Thank you. Is there someone in there? Is there a pirate in there? Oh, whatever. Let's go up to the. Let's go up to level three. Sky layer three. Fly up. Beautiful. There's a few fish near me that are just. Oh yes, they're all in a nice line. Oh, they were in a line. You fish at the end. You ruined the line. Ruined it. Um. Okay. Oh, can can we fire at you? Can we can we harpoon? Can we harpoon you? Not really. No. And you are hurting us quite a lot. I should possibly fly away from him. That that the Captain Hurty Pants. Let's fly away from Captain Hurty Pants. Let's, let's crash into someone else instead. <laughs> Yay. Uh, let's try and get off this bit and onto the next sky lane thing. Here we go. Sky lair. I keep going to sky lanes. I don't know why. Sky lane seems to sound more normal. There you go. So sky lair. So we're on number four. Okay. Okay. This is cool. And we're a bit quicker. There's something in that tree that I wouldn't mind. Yep. Healy up thing. Oh, there's some fish up there. There's some fish, 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 fish. Get that. Get you. You're a different kind of fish. We'll have that. This is very good. Right, where are the rest of the fish? Could we have a fish radar as well? That would be good. I mean, it was a thing we could have had. Ow. Oh, let's take you on. Oh, absolutely. Can we shoot it? Oh, look at this. We're actually shooting at people. Shooty, shooty, shooties. Yeah, okay. I'm chasing after that fish, in all honesty, but I want to shoot at people as well. Oh, there's another one. Some sort of, like, rainbow-type fish. Ow. The pain. I mean, it's the pain that hurts the most, I find. Right, get you. Come on, come on. Oh, you scoundrel fish. Not even with my mega engine am I quick enough. And now I'm being shot at as well. Yay! There we go. I finally caught a fish. At what cost? Who knows? But I finally caught a fish. Oh, you I nearly got... Did you just die? 
I think I might have just contributed to someone being killed in the game. Yay! <laughs> Long last. Okay. Let's go over there then. Oh, that looks horrendous. There's some sort of defense tower thing there. Ow. Ow. I'm being hurt a lot. There's some fish there though. We'll take that. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's the gigantic defense turret thing which we need to take out. I don't know what the sky cops are doing. Sky cops. The gigantic defense turret thing in the middle of the sky just there. If you could be so kind as to sort that out, that'd be great. Thanks. Cheers. Uh, use the harpoon thing. Can we do that? Pull that shield off. Uh, now we are taking some serious damage. Yeah, we're, we're, we've taken lots of damage again. 353 monies. Oh, what's that? <gasps> there's a fish. There's a, there's a fish that I've not seen before. It's picked. Yes, got it. Now I am on fire a little bit. I'm going to get that shoal. I'm going to get that little shoal of fish there. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, you buggers. There you go. Yes. Okay, right. Now I'm... Oh, hang on. There's a box there as well. Give me the box of goodies. What is that? <gasps> Some more goodies. I like goodies. I am risking everything here. Now, that thing is firing rockets. I don't really want to be got by a rocket launcher. We'll have some... Oh, yes. It was worth coming this way, though. Right. Get you. No. No, no. Get you. Get you. Cut through the middle of here, possibly. It looks like there's quite a lot of fish in the middle of there. And an item thing somewhere in there. I don't know where. Oh, no. There's a, there's a big shooty thing up there. Um, okay. Right. Time to run. Time to run. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out of dodge. Let's go home. Let's go home. Now, hopefully... We've come in at a pretty good angle. We don't have to dodge too much stuff, I don't think. No, we're, no, we're looking good. We're looking fine. Right, let's land and see what we've got. Okay, I've just come to the workbench. I think let's try mixing two pieces of scrap metal and a bit of machinery and see if that makes anything. No, crafting failed. So one of those bits was correct for those two rightmost sort of... Well, I don't know what they are, recipes, I suppose, at the bottom. So, um... Yeah, so it's filled in the blanks. It's a bit like the old uh, Mastermind game where, you know, you had certain coloured pegs and you had to guess the right combination that your sort of opponent had hidden from you. Um, but yeah, so those right two. So the right hand most thing is machinery. That's absolutely fine. And then the left hand two things are stuff that we don't have yet. Or it could. It could be gunpowder, I suppose. You could mix gunpowder and machinery and make what? What would you make with gunpowder and machinery? I haven't got the faintest idea. I don't know. Um, or would we mix two? Like the gun. There's one there which looks like shells. So I would guess that's two of each. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Let's try this. Two scrap metal. Oh no, we've already got two scrap metal and two gunpowder. Let's try that. Let's try crafting that and see what happens. Does that do anything? Shotgun shells. Okay, that's interesting. So now, could we then take ourselves? Could we go for... Uh, I don't know. The red bits now look like ammo. So we go, could we go for small ammo? Right, up to the top. Then go down to a metal box. And then go down to... No, hang on. Then basic scrap. And then machinery. Can we mix that together? A small magazine. What do I do with all these things? I genuinely don't know what to do with all these shiny things. <laughs> I don't know what to do with them. So, um, yeah. Do, do I make oh, ammo cases? So now I've got an ammo case. So I've got a small magazine. So now can I do the same with... With... Hang on. With... Up uh, oh, there. Um, pyrotechnics. Can I do the same with shotgun shells? And uh, a metal box. And a piece of scrap. Can I do that? Does that make anything if I mix shotgun shells? No. Okay, so that miserably fails. <laughs> That's terrible. So that failed on... It was shotgun shells and a metal box, but then not scrap metal. Hang on. So could it be machinery? I don't think we lose those bits. I don't think we lose them. Yes. Shotgun ammo crafted. Okay. Okay. So, you know, I'm, 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 I'm building things. I don't know what to do with any of these things. Can I sell them? Do I have things to sell? I don't think I do, do I? I don't have anything that I've got. No, I don't know what to do with all that stuff. Maybe it just gives me extra bonuses or something. Right, I've got 998. I might upgrade our weapon to a shrapnel caster. Because that does quite a good rate of damage uh, at quite a good fire rate as well. And it's 799. And that sounds like a fun thing to have on board. <laughs> all the oh, all chaos rockets though. Chaos rockets sound also a lot of fun. Do you know what? Let's go for chaos rockets. Yes, chaos rocket battery bought successfully. Yes, why not? Chaos rockets. Um, 
yeah, let's go out and see what Chaos Rockets are like then, shall we? Okay, I'm on my way up to uh, Sky Lair 4. I've not fired the rockets yet. I've not fired the rockets. I just want to see what happens. Please give me a healy thing. That's quite nice. I did take some damage. Okay, let's see what happens when we fire the rockets. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, they just sort of fire wildly around. Ooh. Should I have not attacked the pirate Zeppelin machine? Oh, dear. Possibly I shouldn't have attacked the pirate Zeppelin. They might not be very happy. That's what they are. That's why I couldn't interact with them. Okay, that makes sense, I suppose. Right, let's try and fire at the pirate Zeppelin. Have that pirate Zeppelin. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, okay, uh, Chaos Rockets are very inaccurate, it seems. It seems they go quite chaotic, in fact. Who'd have thought? Who'd have thought, eh? So let's keep just repeatedly firing over there. Oh, now look, it's like a boss level almost. It's like a boss. The pirate Zeppelin is kind of like a sort of boss thing. Okay, that's fine. Well, we can we can deal with that. We, we, can, we can certainly get blown up by it a lot. Ow! There's a lot of being blown up happening right now. That's painful. We're not causing that much damage to it, let's be honest. The back of it. The back of it. Come on, Chaos Rockets. Fire at the back. We are being absolutely hounded. We are going to have to go back home. Retreat. Get out. Get out. Run away. Heal up and come back and fight another day. And back we go up to Cherry Blossom Yard 4 again. Um, yeah, the, the, the rocket things... I, I didn't have any go at them just while I was flying upwards to this level. They're very good at causing lots of damage, but they're, they're very inaccurate. Obviously, they're just sort of chaotic rockets, as you might imagine from the name. So they don't actually have any kind of skill involved. I can just sort of point it and fire and hope that somebody is nearby when it explodes and hope that it isn't me. So I think they hurt me, I think. A bit like that, in fact, just there. I think that was my own rocket. So if I just fire up there and just sort of hope that it kills someone, then it is leaving stuff behind. So I am actually blowing stuff up. Uh, it, it's just not very accurate. It's just not very accurate of blowing stuff up. Right, let's pick that up because that's useful stuff. Okay, fish. Let's go and get ourselves lots of fish. And if we can figure out a way up to the next level, or maybe we can't go up to the next level until we've killed the um, the, the the boss ship or whatever it was, the big the big ship. So I wonder if that now retains its um, retains its strength. I wonder if it retains its health hit points. Yeah, it does. Look, it retains its hit points. Ooh, let's do that though. Let's fire as we go. Oh, thanks for thanks for firing me into a wall. That was great. Cheers. So yeah, if we do that, oh my goodness me, there is an awful lot of stuff firing at us. Oh, but do you know what? Shiny, shiny thing. Yes, lots of fish. Lots of fish. Come on, fish. I'm going after that one. I'm going after that one. No, I'm not. It's it's getting away from me at the minute. Come back, fish. Come back. Yeah, I'm taking some serious damage. Let's just fire wildly into the middle of nowhere. Let's see what happens. Can we fire at some baddies? See if they blow anyone up. Come on, come on. One of those rockets must get you. One of those rockets must blow you up. Come on. Yeah, these this isn't the best gun really for kind of accuracy. I don't I can't really target anything. I just have to kind of hope that somebody is nearby when something explodes. Which is not the best kind of approach. I mean that's quite good. I think I blow did I blow that thing up, that turret thing? Yes. So I can sort of do it eventually. Look, I can just keep going round and round and round. And hope that eventually they blow. Oh, they have to be on. They have to be on the screen. We have to be able to see them exploding. Uh, no, they, ah, they only explode if they hit something. Is that right? I'm not entirely sure. I don't entirely know. But let's just do that. Let's just fire on that ship a lot, like so. Let's just see if we can kill the ship. Let's see. Oh no, no, no! We definitely can't kill the ship. It's time to run away once again. It's time to boldly run away. But do you know what? We might be able to upgrade another bit of our boat. So that's quite fun if we can get back home and not die. Yes, we certainly can. We can upgrade our wings. So now we can have a fully new ship. And it's not the first one. We kind of avoided the Pinty Woodpecker in its entirety. We're going to go up to here. We're going to go up to the, the Dun Talon with its uh, four level four agility. Can I only have one weapon on it, which is a shame because we do have an extra weapon now, obviously, because we've bought some. But um, yeah, it gives us... Uh, give, 890 gives us four agility. That's very cool. So let's have that. Let's go into the uh, hangar. Let's change out our wings. And this should be fairly visually obvious. Beautiful. Beautiful. And uh, what money have we got left now? Have we got any money left? 75. <laughs> okay. Okay. Not much money. Do you know what? Let's go out and just see how, how she handles with the new wings. Okay. We're on level three. We're on sky level three, whatever it is. Yeah, it handles okay. It handles kind it certainly uh, corners. Corners? Well, I don't know what the terminology is for a plane. Turns? Is that the, is that the right words for a plane? It turns a bit better? It doesn't sound right. It sounds like it should be slightly more technical than it just turns a bit nicer. 
Um, so yeah, it, it turns far nicer. It turns a lot smoother than the other one did. Oh, look at that piece of precision flying. Look at that. Don't look at that piece of precision flying. Don't, don't, don't look at that one. That was not precision flying. That was quite good though. Right, okay. Let's go back and get those fish while we're here. Uh, you will have you. I'd like to be able to take something out. Something big. Something big and kind of impressive. Let's see what we can do on level four. That's what we can do on our fourth sky layer. Can we destroy anything here that's a bit big and scary? Like, do those things keep repairing? Do the big kind of the big base things keep repairing? Right, take you're, you're kind of on fire anyway a bit, are you? Are you on fire a bit? Oh, I don't know. This thing is rubbish. Yeah, like that. Can we take that out? Can we take that thing out? Like that. Bang, 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 bang. Yeah, no, I don't understand these rockets. I don't understand the rockets. They don't seem to be exploding anywhere. Well, that one certainly exploded, in fact. That one was very good. Oh, yeah, they do explode eventually. I don't quite understand the, the mechanics of these rockets. They just fly about until they hit something. What is that? What on earth have I just picked up there? Some scrap, possibly? Was that some good scrap? Oh, that is a useful little box that we just got there. That's very nice. Oh, someone else has got the, the Chaos rockets. Somebody else has got them, look, because they're also firing erratically everywhere. Let me just keep that button held down. Let me just do that. Let's just fly about with the button held down and just bombard everybody with stuff. Uh, yeah, okay. More rockets. Yeah, fine. Where's the big airship thing? Where's the big bad guy airship? Oh, oh don't look at that flying. That didn't happen. That Somebody else did that. Oh, the controller. There we go. That's good. And we'll take that thing. Oh, yeah. That, yeah, you, yeah. it's certainly smoother. I mean, not in my hands. <laughs> I'm, I'm no pilot. But, um, yeah, it certainly is a lot smoother. Right, hang on. Can we just, can we just fire lots of rockets at that thing? No, downwards. Downwards. No, not up there. Down. I'm pointing down. I don't understand how this pointing thing works. There. At that. At that thing. Just fire at that as much as you can. Oh, we've got the harpoon, haven't we? Can we harpoon anything? Oh, pull that shield off. Yeah. Okay, now fire the rockets. Now fire rockets at this thing. It must be able to destroy them. It must be able to destroy that thing. Yeah, come on. Come on, come on, come on. This can be our got. Yes, we've blown up the thing. Like a turrety base thing. Yes. Go us. Okay, where's the big ship thingy? Where's the big actual base thing that we're supposed to be killing? Where is that? Because it'd be nice to at least have another go at that. Oh, it's healed up again. Stop healing up. Right, let's try and aim that way. Come in at broadside it. Broadsides. Oh, it's got a lot of firepower. We're already down to 12. Six. Run away. Run away. We're on fire. Oh, we're heading straight toward, a we're heading straight toward an island. This is not good. Whoa. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And come on, come on, get back home. Get us back home. Let's just let's just get home nicely. Yes, there we go. We found all sorts of different scrap items. That's jolly exciting. Okay, I've played a little bit more. I've done three more trips up into the skies. And the next one is going to be our final one. So what I did was, I wasn't really very happy with the Chaos Rockets. As exciting as they were, they sound very exciting. Chaos Rockets. And on the picture, there's like a bundle of things. They're like a bundle of nuclear warheads. I didn't really know what I was doing with them. So I've gone out and I've got us a load more monies. Now we could, we could go through and get something exciting. I suppose I could have played a little bit more. I've got, I don't know, the, the, the Gatti Horizon, I don't know, engines or something. But whatever. Let's go for a gun. So what I was going to go for was the Shrapnel Caster. Because that sounds interesting. It's got a good rate of fire and it's got a good damage rating. So let's have one of those. Let's go into the hangar. Let's equip... Ooh. No, let's not equip the, the, the NAF wings. Let's keep those on. Let's have the shrapnel caster. And let's see what difference this makes on our final fly out into the skies of whatever it was called. Granaria, Granaria, something like that. So let's head back over this way. Let's get ourselves up to a decent sort of height. There's going to be no one around here to shoot at anyway. Uh, not bothered about this. There will be some pirates here, but we'll just dodge out of this. Go straight through. In fact, do you know what? Let's just take these guys on. So what do they do? Overdrive. Oh, I pressed overdrive and I don't know what I did. How did I activate overdrive? I'm not sure. Ah, now. Now that is interesting. They can fire, but they then need to recharge, which is not ideal because I struggle with the whole controlling thing. As you can see, the reticule thing moves around a lot. I'm not actually doing anything with it. It's just sort of moving around erratically on its own. So yeah, this is probably not the best weapon either. We fire downwards like that. Yeah, that's not very good at all, is it? That's, that's quite slow to... Oh, it's, it's sped up to recharge, is it? Oh, I thought it was a bit a bit slower than that. Oh, no, that's okay. That's fine. Yeah, we'll just keep using that. That's fine. I thought it was longer than that. Yeah, we'll get yeah, fire, fire. Just keep firing at anything. Again, doesn't seem to be that effective. 
Doesn't seem to be that effective. What we need is a massive shotgun. We need a huge shotgun type thing. That's what we need. Come on, fire, fire down there. Fire there. Fire just that point of thing. Ah, oh, see, look, I'm pointing top left. I'm trying to point top left and it's just not having it, is it? Do you know what? Do you know what? That's fine. Let's just come down to land before we crash into a big, 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 big rock. Let's come into land and we'll, uh, you know, what? We'll, we'll land one last time. There we go. We'll continue. And uh, yeah, let's go back into the workshop and just leave it there. So there we go. That's good. I like that. So that's Airheart Tales of Broken Wings. And I think we only had one crash landing. So, you know, one lot of broken wings, one pair of broken wings to repair, and then a few other broken bits and bobs to repair as well. But yeah, that's very enjoyable. It looks nice. Quite like the concept. It's a shame the aiming thing didn't quite work on my Steam controller. It was a little bit kind of wibbly. I'm sure they'll work on that as time goes on. But yeah, that's very, very enjoyable. It's very enjoyable. It's on Steam now. If you're interested, there is a link in the video description if you want to go and pick it up. But yeah. That was good fun. That was good fun. I enjoyed that. If that looked like your thing, kind of, sort of, yeah, I kind of get what they mean. Kind of airplane action roguelike. I don't know what diesel punk means. They just like put planes to me. Just like normal kind of planes. But whatever the case, whatever the case, that's what it describes itself as. So that must be what it is. So yeah, if you like the look of that airplane action stuff, go and check it out. But we are indeed done for now. So if you did enjoy this video, please do leave a like and also please do subscribe to keep up to date with all the other stuff that we do in the Geek Cupboard. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I will see you next time. This is never going to end well if it's just me having to use my own wits and skill to survive. Beer! Drink! Can I just get leathered? That'll make me warm. Yes, like a drunk man trying to find his way to the bar. I don't know what I'm doing. I can play darts. 340! You've took on my monster munch. Where's all the monster munch? <laughs>